On April 15, 1945, the British 11th Armored Division liberated Bergen-Belsen, one of the worst Nazi concentration camps, which epitomized the true bestiality and horrors of the Nazi regime and its death camps. The British forces found 13,000 unburied dead bodies and almost 60,000 prisoners who were sick and starved. Other thousands of inmates died of various diseases, such as typhus and tuberculosis, during the months following the camp's liberation. The British forces managed to capture male and female Nazi guards responsible for these horrors and forced them to help bury the dead bodies in mass graves. One of these SS guards was Johanna Bormann, one of the most sadistic Nazi guards. Johanna Bormann was born on September 10, 1893, and she did not receive any education because she never went to a formal school. Before she started her criminal career in concentration camps, she was looking after the sick in a lunatic asylum where she was earning no more than 20 marks a month. She took a job as a guard in concentration camps because of the money. For mistreating poor female prisoners, she was earning almost 10 times as much as she did at the asylum. In 1939, she was sent to Ravensbrück concentration camp, where she remained until March 1942 when she was sent to Auschwitz. Bormann's nickname was the woman with the dogs because she tortured her prisoners with her dog, which she used as a murder weapon. She used to call her German Shepherd the Big Bad Wolfhound, and one of the orders she would give the dog was bite the throat. Her dog was very obedient, something that Bormann strictly demanded from all the prisoners, and when it attacked poor women, it was never without Bormann's order. Johanna Bormann used to be in charge of women working outside the camp. When some of them became weak and unable to work properly, she used to set her large dog on them. Many of them died of blood poisoning or were sent to Block 25, which always meant going to the gas chamber. On one occasion, Borman approached a female prisoner and took something out of her pocket. Then Borman threw the inmate to the ground, and while the prisoner was lying on the ground, Borman let the dog go and bite the poor woman so severely that she was a mass of blood. On another occasion, she set her dog on a different female prisoner, and the dog bit her so brutally that the poor woman had to be in the hospital for six weeks. Once, Borman was not satisfied with the work of a group of about 10 girls. She set her dog on them, and one girl was bitten so badly that she had to be taken to the hospital where, after about a fortnight, she died. On another occasion, one female prisoner came to Borman saying that her fellow prisoner felt very sick and could not walk to the working site. Borman's reaction was hitting the face of the woman who came to her, knocking out two of her teeth. Then Borman went to the sick prisoner and ordered her dog to attack the girl. The poor girl died. On one occasion when Borman's dog attacked a poor victim, she boasted to a passing SS man of what she and her dog had done. Johanna Borman also had other specialties. She stripped women prisoners and beat them with a rubber truncheon or enjoyed submitting them to punitive physical exercises in which the poor woman would have to march, run, or do frog jumps until exhaustion. When she arrived in Bergen-Belsen concentration camp in the middle of February 1945, it was already apparent that Germany had lost the war. At Bergen-Belsen, her job was overseeing a pigsty of 52 pigs. While the thousands of prisoners were dying of starvation, her pigs were well fed with potatoes and turnips. And when starving women prisoners stole some vegetables, she beat them immediately. After Bergen-Belsen's liberation, Johanna Bormann was captured by the British forces together with her fellow Nazi criminal colleagues such as Elisabeth Volkenrath, her former supervisor at Auschwitz, or Josef Kramer, the last commandant of Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. At the Belsen trial, Bormann claimed she did not know the reason why there were so many gruesome testimonies brought against her. She refused to confess to any of the charges brought against her and when asked about her cruelty, she only admitted to having hit prisoners' faces or boxed their ears when they did not obey. Regarding her bestial dog, she even claimed that the prisoners used to play about with it. She also said she had neither participated in nor seen any selections for gas chambers. However, her lies did not help her escape justice. The British military tribunal sentenced Joanna Borman to death by hanging. She was 52 years old when the British executioner Albert Pierpont carried out the sentence on the 13th of December, 1945. Just before the execution, looking old and haggard, she simply said, I have my feelings. There were no tears shed 
for Johanna Bormann. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like, and see you in the following episode.